Hello everyone! In this lesson, we explain how to install ROS2 Humble Hugs Bill in Ubuntu 22.04. In our next lesson, we explain how to install ROS2 Humble Hugs Bill in Ubuntu 20.04. Furthermore, we explain how to properly verify the installation process by running a talker listener ROS2 example. This example can be seen as a Hello World program of ROS2 programming. The installation process should be performed by following the steps explained over here. I will thoroughly go over these steps and I will provide a link to this document so you can at the same time watch this video and follow this document. The first step is to verify that you have the correct version of Linux and to make sure that other versions of ROS1 or ROS2 are not automatically sourced in the .bash rc file. First, let's open a terminal. Click over here and search for a terminal. Here it is. Now, I will resize this window such that at the same time you can see this manual and you can see what I'm typing over here. Okay, so let's start. To verify the current Linux distribution, we need to type this. And over here, you should see Ubuntu 22.04. If you don't see this Ubuntu version, then stop watching this video tutorial and install Ubuntu 22.04. Next, we need to make sure that some other versions of ROS2 or even ROS1 are not automatically sourced when you start a terminal. Namely, you can have several ROS2 distributions installed on your system. However, they should not be sourced when you start a terminal. Sourced means that a setup file of a ROS2 distribution is automatically called when you open a terminal. Let's do the first check. Type this in your terminal. And, in my case, nothing is displayed. This is a good sign. This means that any other version of ROS2 is not sourced and this is very important. However, you might see, for example, the output iron. If you see iron or any other message over here, this means that some other version of ROS2 is automatically sourced in your system. And we can fix that problem, don't worry. The next check is to inspect the file called .bashrc. This is a setup file that is automatically executed when a new terminal is opened. Let's verify this file. First of all, we need to install gEditor. Enter your password. And let's go to the home folder. To go to the home folder, you need to type cd tilde where tilde symbol is the symbol for the home folder. Then, in this home folder, you need to type this, gedit.bashrc, and let's open the file. Start from the very beginning. Nowhere in this file, you should see a line that will source a ROS distribution. Usually, these lines are placed over here at the end of the file. In the case if a distribution is sourced, then in the file you will see something like this. Source, opt, ROS, then the ROS distribution, setup.bash. I don't see this line over here and you can search the complete file. Let's do that. And as you can see over here, there are no matches. This means that there is no distribution that's automatically sourced. If you see, for example, a line similar to this one, you should erase that line. Close the file and let's proceed with the second step. In the step number two, we need to configure our Ubuntu repositories to allow for restricted universe and multiverse. How to do that? Well, in the same terminal, you need to execute these four commands. First of all, let's execute this one. 
press enter then you need to execute this command however here you need to be patient to wait for this command to finish then the second one then the third one again try to be patient over here and finally we need to install software properties common you'll see over here that everything is satisfied in my case this is because I already installed software properties common however in your case you will see the installation progress okay let's verify everything to verify type this and you can see over here different installed main restricted universe multiverse etc this means that we have properly installed universe multiverse and restricted or better to say we are allowed for these software repositories next we need to set locale and set up resources to do that we need to first run this command then after this command we need to execute these commands let's proceed as you can see over here nothing is installed this is because I already have installed locales however in your case you will see the installation progress then you need to execute this and finally you need to execute this and let's perform one more time locale and the most important thing is that UTF-8 is enabled this is very important next let's add this key how to do that well we need to first of all install curl in my case curl is already installed however in your case you will see the installation progress and we need to execute this command okay let's proceed next let us add the repository to the source list and I need to add the following as I explained at the beginning of this video tutorial I will provide you this document so you can simply copy and paste commands okay let's proceed in the next step we need to install ROS2 packages before you install anything you need to update the cache and the system first of all you need to run this command and this will take a while and you need to upgrade the system this is very important press yes and be patient you can see the installation progress over here and after some time you will see this progress bar over here you need to be patient this will take maybe a minute or two depending on your internet connection and depending how fast is your system and finally we are ready to install ROS2 Humble to do that we first need to run this command this command will actually install the complete ROS Humble desktop version and you can see the size 167 megabytes that's too little actually and now you need to be patient this will take a while and after some time you will see this progress bar after this command we need to install tools however by running this command the tools are already installed so you actually don't need to install the tools however it's still a good idea to try to install them okay 
And that's it. Now we are ready to test the installation by running the so-called talker listening listener example. The talker listener example is a hello world example of ROS2 programming. It's often used to verify the ROS2 installation. Let's run this example. The first step is to run a talker node. How to do that? Well, open a new terminal. Then, whenever you want to do something with ROS2, you need to source the setup.bash file and the setup.bash file is located in this folder. If you don't do this, you will not be able to run ROS2. Okay, now we are sourced, that is, we run the setup.bash file and after that we can actually run our talker node. Press enter. And let's see what's happening. The talker node is actually publishing this string hello world with this counter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. These messages are transferred to an appropriate topic to another node. We still didn't run the node and later on I will explain the topic and I will explain you how to list all the topics that are running in the background. Don't worry if you currently don't understand what is a node and what is a topic. We will cover these topics in our next tutorials. Then, we want to run another node. To run another node, open a new terminal and again, you need to set up or better to say you need to source this file. Press enter. And after that, you can run the listener node. Type this. ROS2 run demo nodes pi listener. So let's see what will happen. Aha! Uh -huh. I heard hello world 88. Basically, we started our listener at the time when the message hello world 88 was transferred. So let's go back to our talker node we started our listener node over here. Now what's happening behind the scene? The talker is emitting the message to an appropriate topic and the listener accepts that message and displays it on the screen. Next, let's learn how to obtain more information about available topics and the type of messages that are being sent through these topics. For that purpose, open a new terminal. In the new terminal, source this file then to list all the topics you need to run this command ROS2 topic list and we can see a very interesting output we can see three topics chatter parameter events and ROS out for us the most important topic is this one this is the topic used to communicate between the publisher and the subscriber, that is, between the talker and between the listeners. The talker sends a message through this topic and topics can be seen as channels and on the other side the listener accepts that message. Let's obtain more information about the type of the messages that are being sent. To do that you can execute this command. Aha, uh -huh. we can see the type of messages that are being sent are from the standard messages, messages, and their strings. Basically, this is a ROS2 data type. How many publishers are subscribed to this topic? One. And how many subscribers? One. Perfect. To visualize the structure of the subscriber and the publisher nodes and the topics, you need to run this command rqt graph and over here you can see what's happening behind the scene here's our talker node the talker node sends messages through the chatter topic and on the other side we have a subscriber node that's our listener the listener accept the message and displays the message on the computer screen okay that's all for today